It's been the preferred means of conveyance for plutocrats, potentates and presidents for more than 90 years. But recently though, the Lincoln, the Lincoln motor car automobile has lost some of its luster. Sales in the US were half of that of the Lexus car in 2011. Now Ford, which owns the Lincoln brand, is aiming to reverse that. Alan Mulally is the president and chief exec of Ford. Alan, so this is fascinating because you're taking a brand that some would say just pension it off, a bit like some of the drivers of the Lincoln. They're a bit old and they're not the right demographic for your future. But you're trying to bring the age down and the spend up. That's true, Richard. Uh, and really, is, it goes back to really, to, to your point, is celebrating the heritage uh, of Lincoln over the years. And, as you know, uh, Lincoln has been part of the Ford Motor Company for nearly 90 years. And it's always been known for elegant styling and design inside and out, and also a very useful and exciting uh, technology and innovation. And of course, in Ford's case, you know, we had purchased uh, Aston Martin and Jaguar and Land Rover and Volvo, and we had uh, decreased the investment in Lincoln. Well, with our one Ford plan that we decided in 2006, we decided right. to have a laser focus not only on the Ford brand, but also on Lincoln. So we continue to invest uh, in the toughest of times, as you know, and the MKZ that we're uh, revealing today is our first proof point, our exciting proof point of the new family of luxury Lincoln vehicles. The elephant in the living room that we cannot ignore is um, the fiscal cliff. Um, and I know you've been talking to the White House, talking to the President. Can you give us any reason to be optimistic other than uh, financial Armageddon that will happen if we all go over the cliff? You know, Richard, I, I really am encouraged. And uh, the, uh, the President continues to uh, ask for our thoughts and opinions and our help. We, we are very pleased to be a part of the solution. And, in the last few weeks have, has really centered the discussion about what do we do not only about the fiscal cliff, which needs to deal with both the revenue side, but also the expense side, is what do we do to create the environment where businesses can grow, can be more competitive, to provide the, the economic expansion that we, all, uh, that we all want. And I think that I see people coming together with this laser focus on economic development. And of course, the fiscal cliff is one, one part of that. I might also add, uh, Richard, that we're very encouraged by the ongoing dialogue in Europe on the very, the very same subject, because clearly we're in a recession uh, in Europe and pulling together uh, around a compelling vision to facilitate economic growth is what's most important, uh, most important for all of us.